today from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Matt Football on EA Sports. We'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Historic Lambeau Field. Fittingly, it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Set to go in a rematch of what would come to be known later as the first Super Bowl. The Chiefs and Packers are underway. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here we go with the Packer offense guided by their decorated QB with a long list of Pro Bowls and other accolades next to his name, of course. Aaron Rodgers leading the way. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks. He can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now it's Rodgers. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. It's a big play there for Green Bay. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And a solid run down inside the 30. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. He's to the 10, and he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. 22 yards for A.J. Dillon, and the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. So how about that for your first carry of the game? Not bad. How about that and not bad at all? I think you earned yourself a little bit more work, partner, because that's what you want from your number two or your number three running backs. You want them to come in with the fresh legs, give your team a little... The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. A shotgun snap and a give to Edward Zolaire. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. 
On second and 12, Mahomes. Looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32 yard line. Mahomes now to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's going down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold him to three. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go. It's Edwards Alaire. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Packers D comes up with a big stop. So their first drive of the game already trailing, having given up points. A little surprised that they went for it, right? Maybe the big guy, the head coach, senses this is going to be a shootout type of a game. That they've got to match them point for point as opposed to, hey, we'll, we'll get them later. Maybe he just has that sense, and that's why he decided to go for it there. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A nice run there by Jones on first down as he'll wind up getting about five, so second and five coming up. Five yards remain on second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Rodgers. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw is Rodgers. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay. Close. 
The long distance shot before break comes up empty, but now Charles flipped the script. Time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue. Yeah, when you talk about field position, remember, if this kick is missed, the ball comes back to where? The spot that they snapped it from. So field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air. Maybe you can get six out of it instead of three. Yeah, see what happens. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome. And now, due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And yeah, maybe time for this offense to really hit the reset button. They were shut out in the first half, but still, they're right in this game. They certainly are. What I like about it is that you actually continue to play. You know, you just find a way to make a few plays yourself, and you noted it. Right there on the border in this game, they're not that far off. Just got to find a play or two, and they could be very happy at that point. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. What's up, man? That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, well, you pointed out to me a half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Mahomes firing complete. Seven yards the pickup there. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And again, it's Mahomes. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Not much there, only a yard. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up the third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Steps away to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn. Oh, no, he lost the football. Score game. 
So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The Chiefs talk over what to do next. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. Oh, he did it again. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Shotgun to give to Jones. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And right side, they're going to go option here. certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. They'll try the right side with Jones. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So they went a little cautious there on third and long. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Remember, they're playing with a lead right now. So getting a first down, yes, that would be great. But even more importantly, take care of the football. No turnovers, no big plays for the other team, and keep the clock moving. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will make our score nine to nothing. Well, some field goals are bigger than others, and that one makes this a two-score game. And with the way their defense has played all game long, that's kind of a love letter to them because that might very well be all the points they need. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. From the 10. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. One final try for Mahomes. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And not only but the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward.